The purpose of the Global CFO Council is to provide an educational and networking forum for senior financial executives in order to share best practices, discuss current financial issues, and to learn about current topics related to the performance of their jobs. Good afternoon, Rachel. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, Robert. I am doing fantastic. I am super excited to get to talk to you, and I very much appreciate you doing this. Thank you very much. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for doing it. It's great to meet everybody this way. Rachel Crump is the Senior Vice President and Global Corporate Controller and Principal Accounting Officer at Insight. Is that correct? That is correct. Do Back you get paid? Do you get paid two or three X the normal salary for having that long of a, a title? Hmm. It's you being should. recorded, so no. <laughs> I think you're out of the great state of Arizona, undergraduate degree in accounting from University of Wisconsin, CPA and CGMA. Is that correct? That is correct. And something interesting that I found out about you is that you look like a super volunteer. You are actively involved in all sorts of community and civic and industry associations like the Boys and Girls Club, AICPA, Arizona CPAs. You're like all over the place. I feel terrible. I should be giving back as much as you're giving back. No, you give back through this forum. This is how you give back. You coordinate all the meetings that we get to listen in on. Correct. Good answer, <laughs> Rachel. Great way to start. Let's get into this. What is your favorite business book and why? Okay, so I'm every quarter I'm reading a different, we've got a book club at work. So I'm reading a different one. So it'll change circumstantially, but at the end of the day, five dysfunctions of a team because those five dysfunctions apply to any scenario. Your home team, your team at work, <laughs> your direct report team, your project team, doesn't matter, covers it, you can always use it. So that's my go-to. So true, and Patrick Lincioni is one of the number one mentions authors ever for CFO Council favorite book. So very good recommendation. I got high expectations now. You came strong with question number one. Question number okay. two is, what is the best advice that you have ever received? Okay, best advice. I received it um, from an SVP of sales and said, own it. They need you more than you need them. Your skills are killer. Anyone's lucky to have you. Take that confidence into every conversation. Easier said than done. <laughs> But it is hands down the best advice I've ever received. I've never had a, a sales leader ever say anything nice to me. So that is amazing. You must be really good at what you do for them to have complimented <laughs> you in any way. Very good job. Uh, all right. So you've come strong. Question one and question two. I'm hitting you with question number three. What is a tool that you've recently started using or a habit that you have recently picked up that you have found beneficial? Okay, so I've got two, one work, one personal. So the work tool, it's Microsoft, sorry, but the app is called To Do, <laughs> literally. Um, I use the desktop version, the iPhone, iPad version, um, but it helps me organize things that come up in a meeting so I'm not taking a notebook full of stuff that I need to follow up on. It's in one place adjacent to my email and any tagged email that I flag, because I can be a habitual flagger of emails, shows up there too. Wow, I, I haven't heard of that one before. That sounds really yeah. cool. And I'm always looking for a little efficiency hack. Excellent. Now, I think yeah. you said there were two. Microsoft is the professional. What's your other one that you wanted to share? Okay, so I use the reminders on my iPhone. Like if Every year I need to make the annual spa appointments in January for my mom and I to go at Mother's Day because they fill up early. Mm. I set a reminder to recur every January 15th. I need to remember to run the dishwasher in the morning instead of at night because I'm in Arizona and the solar system works best when the sun is out. Fact check for you. So I set a reminder to start the dishwasher every morning. Wow. Oh, I okay. just really 
Like I'm addicted to the reminders on my iPhone now. Well, you're not messing around when you're setting those kind of reminders. All right. Nice. You are, uh, do you feel liberated by this, uh, structure or do you feel constrained by it? No, super liberating because if, if I set a reminder to do something and I'm just not going to do it today, I just move it hmm. and I don't have to look at it, but I don't I have to it. forget it. And there's not a list because I can be habitual at list making hmm. my daughter, my husband, not massive fans. And so now there's not lists all over the place. The list is in my hand on my phone. I like it. I've heard that discipline equals freedom. So I, uh, I like where you're going with this. What a great, great advice. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, coming strong. Question number four, oh boy. speaking of that job, what is the best part of your current job? Best part is culture of the company. It's what hooked me in when I was interviewing, um, about five years ago, a little bit longer than that. And it really does make things go faster and better because we just care for one another and kind of cut out all the cruddy stuff. Um, or when the cruddy stuff surfaces, because it always will, we, we just call it what it is. Acknowledge it, bucket it, and move away and on from it. What about something personal that you wouldn't mind sharing about yourself with the rest of the CFO council members? Okay. So I got to party like a rock star with bare naked ladies. So I don't know how many members are going to know that group because it's pretty aged in Napa, California of all places. Sadly, it was almost 22 years ago. Well, Just do happened tell. to be there. At this, like on vacation for a week when they happened to be there and they were just playing gigs at wineries and we just happened to show up all the time at the same places. I'm going to be so embarrassed and this part's getting edited out if I'm wrong, but they sing that song that has the line chickity China, the Chinese yes, chicken. That okay. is correct. I love that song. That is absolutely fantastic. And I love those guys. They always have fun, upbeat uh, lyrically interesting songs. Correct. Very cool. I bet they would be really cool to hang out with at a winery 22 years ago. They were pretty cool. Question number six, last question. It happened so fast. Rachel, what is something that I should have asked you, but I didn't ask you? And what is your answer to that? Okay. Well, you mentioned volunteerism. So I get asked, well, how or why do you do it all? And how do you balance it? So my answer to that is for a long time, I did none of it. I was raising my daughter and, you know, before she became a know-it-all teenager, she cared to hang out with me. <laughs> um, and so I focused on that. And then when, you know, she moved on to the next phase of her life, it opened up some time for me. And so instead of reverting to list making, which would have been a comfort zone. Um, I kind of went opposite and, and put myself out there to do volunteer activities and try to do things that put me out of my comfort zone so that I'm growing and learning. Well, I'm noticing a pattern grower, learner, volunteer, super music fan, and a planner. So clearly somebody who gets the stuff done and I'm, I've, t I've took some notes here and I'm absolutely going to check out that Microsoft to do. And I probably like most of the accountants, you know, we're list makers, right? You know, with little scratch offs, but it'd be nice to take this into the digital age and maybe I need to, uh, optimize some of my, my processes here. So you've motivated me, Rachel, I'm checking this out. All right, check it out. My team in the kind of work from home pandemic onset, they shamed me into it because we are a multi-generational team. Some of us prefer paper more than others who maybe didn't ever go to school with pen and paper. 
and they shamed me into it and I, I kind of got addicted because it is pretty liberating. It's almost as liberating. It'll be a close second to a password vault. Mm. Absolutely agree. Rachel, thank you so much. This was fantastic. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye, Robert.